So today I'm going to be doing a sort of brand overview on the L'Atelier de, de Givenchy fragrances. Um, I don't believe this set is still available, um, but it will still give you a good idea of what this line from Givenchy is all about. So here's the box. Got seven cents here listed on the back. Okay, so all the bottles really look the same, so I'm not going to bother holding each individual one up. Um, and I have a notes on my phone, so if I keep looking down, that is why. Um, the first one that I, the first one in the set is Neroli Original. Um, the primary notes are Neroli, Iris, Musk, and Vanilla. This one is um, a little soapy and can probably go a little bit powdery. Things don't go powdery in my skin very easily, but um, it smells like it would easily go powdery on most people. <laughs> so uh, not really my style. Um, oh, before I continue, um, none of these lasted more than six hours except for one, um, which I will get to. And most of them by three, by hour three or four had gone down to a very close to the skin scent. So. They're not the most powerful. Most of them are very office appropriate. So yeah, so this one's just not really um, my taste. It's fine. Um, I'll, I'll absolutely wear through it, but it's not something that I would personally spend my money on just because it's not my style. Uh, the next one is Shaper Caress. Uh, this has a lemon, jasmine, patchouli, and angelica. This one was sort of fresh and citrusy, um, nothing too original, um, but very nice. Um, it is something that I would enjoy wearing in the summer. The freshness is a little bit more on the green side. Uh, next was Bois Material. Um, the primary notes in this are coconut wood, pineapple sage, and cedar. This one was my favorite. Um, I really, really liked it. It is... Um, a very herbaceous woody scent. The cedar wasn't overpowering. The sage wasn't too bitter. I have not tried pineapple sage on its own before, so I'm not really sure if that's just a characteristic of that type of sage, but I really, really enjoyed this one. This was my favorite out of all of them. Next was Oud Flamboyant. Um, I was really hoping to like this one. Um, it's okay. I don't dislike it, but you know, uh, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be, or it's not, I don't enjoy it as much as I thought it would, rather. Um, the primary notes are labdanum, leather, and oud. Um, this is a very funky oud, and it's very balsamic, and it's light on the leather, so the leather is very strong. I think if there was a little bit more of an aromatic type of wood in this, um, either some cedar or sandalwood. Um, there is some sandalwood in it. I can smell it in the dry down. Um, or even just some uh, Ambroxan or ISOE Super or something like that um, to kind of lift it a little bit. I think it. I would have enjoyed it a lot more. So yes, yeah, it was a little bit on the heavy side and it's still nice, just not as nice as I was hoping it would be for me. Uh, next was Lang Austral. Um, the primary notes are ylang ylang, mandarin leaf, and sandalwood. This was a very clean um, smelling floral. The uh, mandarin leaf um, kind of gave it some freshness and the um, whole composition sort of lifted the ylang ylang um, a little bit out of its really heaviness and kind of brightened it up a little bit so it's not as like thick and sweet as a lot of ylang ylang scents are. If you like ylang ylang but don't like how heavy it can be, this would be a good one to try. Ombre Tigre um, is the next one. This is Amber, Labdanum, and Vanilla. Um, I did like this one a lot. I like amber scents, especially sweet ambery scents. I prefer a little bit either more spiciness or incensiness to my amber scents, so I felt like it was missing um, like another facet that could have added to it a little bit, but it was still really nice. It um, just smells like a nice sweet amber. <laughs> And the last one is Cure Blanc. Um, this one is white leather, white pepper, and white musk. This one was interesting. Um, this one lasted a very long time. 
For the first like two hours, three hours, all I could smell was the white musk. My, I don't like white musk on myself. <laughs> um, it just smelled like generic grandpa cologne. <laughs> So was really not a fan of it at first and then after the musk sort of toned down quite a bit and um, More of the leather came out because Really at least on my skin. I couldn't smell anything beyond the white musk at first Yeah, so once some of that musk wore off um, I started to like it a lot more Yes, so um, overall these are not very complex scents. Um, they are very simplistic. Um, there are a couple, um, I think most of them could have used a little bit of an extra facet to kind of make them more interesting and elevate them a little bit more. I believe there are other scents in this line, um, but these are the ones that came in this set and I figured it would be enough to give you a good idea about this line. Yeah, so these are much more about um, I'm not against simplicity, but when there's simplicity, I also expect, I also like uniqueness. So these were not super unique and also very simple. So I would say not, um, not some of my, not one of my favorite lines that I've tried before. However, they are very good quality. Um, unfortunately they don't last as long as I would like them to, but um, yeah, if this is interesting to you or if you have tried any of these, let me know and let me know what you thought. And um, if you know where this set is still available, um, link it in the comments for me, please, um, because I can't seem to find it anywhere. But yes, that is all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please subscribe. It really helps me a lot and it means a lot to me. And until next time.